Hey there, Mark from AmericanAeration.com, and in this video, I want to talk about the best aerators, in my opinion, to cover a half acre pond. Now, before we get into the details of the systems that I would suggest looking at, I want to mention a couple things. The first is if you're new to looking into pond aeration, if you want to learn more about why you'd even want to consider it, the benefits of putting it in a, a pond. Uh, I prepared a video that we've linked to below in the YouTube description that you can check out. It's kind of a primer, kind of an introduction to pond aeration, and it'll tell you a little bit more about how it works and why you might want to use it uh, and some of the benefits of it. So check that out if you uh, are so inclined. The second thing I wanted to mention is we're going to cover four uh, aerator models today, and they will address the variances that you're going to see in a pond situation. In other words, we know that we're working with a half acre pond. Surface area is set. But the big determinant in selecting the right system for you is knowing the depth of the pond that you have. Depth is a huge factor in aerating or setting up an aerator. And so we need to know that. That's one thing you'll want to make sure of before you, you decide on something. But also in this this series that we're going to cover, I'll include systems that will kind of hit all the bases. In other words, we've got one system that we prefer for very shallow ponds that are six feet deep or less. We've got a couple systems that will work uh, in seven feet on up to as deep as 40 and 50 feet, which is far more than what pretty much any half acre is probably going to be. But it shows you the capability of some of these pumps also uh, some of these systems will work better if you have power a bit away from the pond. Uh, they'll handle, you know, remote operation a bit better. The shallow pond systems won't very well. And then, of course, if you have no power at all available, the options might include wind or solar. And my preference is solar simply because of the consistency of the systems. Uh, solar just provides, to me, uh, a better consistent aeration. So we've got a system that we'll cover there. If you're new to shopping or if you've had a chance to shop around a little bit or look around at some of the aerators, you will no doubt see that there are tons of options on the market now. 20 years ago, this certainly wasn't the case. It was much more limited. And uh, you, you just see all kinds of different uh, brands and listings and price points and whatever. And it's even too much for me to keep up with on, on various brands, but I will say that um, what I have covered in this video, and the title is, is appropriate in my opinion, these are some of the best aerators to work with for half-acre ponds. They are vetted. They have, uh, for us, represented a very long-standing relationships. In other words, we've worked with some of these companies for almost 20 years. And we've been through our share of less than ideal systems. In other words, early on, we had some budget-based systems, imported systems that I'm not knocking imports necessarily, but I'm just saying they, they happened to be imported. They were budget-based, good values, and they were uh, problematic. In other words, you might get one pump that would work great, but the other five would have all kinds of nagging issues and just things were cropping up to the point that it was just not good for the customer or for us. And so over time, we've tried a lot of systems. We've vetted a lot of them out. We've separated a lot of them out. And we've dropped a lot of them that didn't provide the kind of things that we wanted to see in terms of reliability and performance. And what we're left with now is what you see on our website, for example. It's just a handful of brands that fit very specific needs. And uh, so the aerators we're going to cover today are included in that mix, and they represent some of the best that I know of. Uh, good value compared, you know, in comparison to their performance and their reliability. So let's get into the first one in terms of what aerator will cover a half acre pond. So we'll start with the shallow pond system. And this uh, Air Max SW40 is specific for shallow waters of six feet deep or less. You do not want to exceed that depth rating by much at all. It's using a linear type of pump, which is great 
with limited back pressure, but it will not handle deeper water. It simply will not push air out if the depth gets to be too much. And secondarily, if you push it too far, uh, too much beyond its tolerances, you're going to wear the diaphragms out, which are the air generating component of the system. They'll just blow out on you prematurely and the, the repairs, you, you just got to constantly work with it. So it's best to keep it in tolerance. Um, the Air Max systems, though, are full featured. You'll see uh, some things on the market that are very bare, bare bones and you know they have the components that you need to run but I will say that the Air Max being full featured it has the full protective cabinet uh, cooling fan a uh, lot of amenities in there which are really nice and the entire system just holds up very well uh, it includes four two stick Air Max diffusers you may say well why four shallow water requires more release locations of, of air. In other words, to turn the same thing over. You actually gain a lot of coverage by increasing the depth placement of a diffuser. And so as you lose the depth, you've got to make up for it with a higher density of diffusers in a certain area. And so this has four diffusers for a half acre body of water. Very, very good coverage. It includes four, uh, four rolls, 100 foot each of 3 8 inch weighted airline, or optionally, if you don't need that much or you need a little bit more, uh, you can get the no, no airline option and you can order that separately. It operates with a linear diaphragm-based compressor. These are extremely efficient systems. Uh, cost just a couple bucks a month to run. Very, very low cost and very quiet. I, I would say those are the two big, big benefits of these linears. 4.9 cubic feet per minute air output, which is an excellent split between the four diffusers, and then 0.87 running amps on 115 volt. This is only available in 115. Uh, warranty, which is standard for the Air Max products, is three years on the compressor, five years on the airline and diffusers, and 10 years on the cabinet. Next up is the Air Max PS10 aerator. Now this is a system that will handle greater depth than six feet. And so it will aerate ponds of a half acre uh, in size around nine to 12 feet deep or greater. Max operational depth is around 40 or 50 feet. It uses a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. The key with the ability to handle the depth is because of that rocking piston design. They are the workhorses of the industry in my opinion. The other thing I'll mention with the capability to handle depth and back pressure. This is also the type of system we would use if we have power a ways away from the pond. Let's say 100 feet or 100 yards away. We can actually put the cabinet and the pump by the power source. You would bury an airline of some type. We would recommend whatever your situation is. We might recommend something unique, but uh, you would bury an airline in ground and then connect it to the weighted airline at the pond edge which runs to the diffuser. And we've run these systems up to a thousand feet away with no problem. So these, these uh, rocking piston compressors are the reason we can do that. Very reliable, very hard working. It includes the poly cabinet as shown with a built-in cooling fan, other amenities, pressure gauge, uh, you name it. It's, it's a top-notch system laid out very, very well. It includes one four-stick Air Max self-weighted diffuser. 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline, and then the pump puts out 2.3 cubic feet per minute of air on a 1.6 amp draw, so it remains very efficient for the coverage and capability. Warranty again on Air Max products, three years on the compressor, five years on the airline and diffusers, and then 10 years on the cabinet. Now a similar uh, system to the PS10 would be the Casco are a one aerator. It too will cover half acre ponds from 8 to 12 feet deep or greater. It works down to about 40 feet. Uh, quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor again. Same benefits from this one. You can run remotely if you want to. It can handle greater depths. Uh, one of the differences with the Casco that I find uh, appealing is that it has optional cabinets available. In other words, Air Max has the ground-based poly cabinet, which is very good, but to me that's, that's how they come, and that's the best way to get them. With this system, with the Casco RA1, you can actually order a no cabinet option. 
if you have an existing outbuilding structure shed what have you you can put the pump in there for protection even with the no cabinet option they include a for cooling fan with the pump you could also go with a post mount cabinet which you see in the photograph here which mounts on a 4x4 post dock uh, even the side of a building it can it can mount in a number of places it has sound dampening foam uh, lining it cooling fan built in uh, just a very, very nice cabinet, and then they've also got a ground version of this cabinet. So a lot of options there. It includes uh, a single, one uh, robust air diffuser, as you see in the photograph as well, the dual looped diffuser. This is self-weighted, self-sinking. You put it in and it stays down. Its biggest benefit is it is an extremely efficient design. It was tested against a number of other types, sticks and plated diffusers, and it uh, really came out strong. I mean, it was better than all of them in terms of its air output and movement of the water. So in terms of whatever a pump is putting out and driving into a diffuser, this one is probably the most efficient I've ever seen uh, at, at what it does. The system or the RA1 kit includes 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline, uh, just like the PS10. Uh, air output is 3.2 CFM, so it's a bit higher than the Airmax. 2.5 amp draw, on 115 volts and then 230 volt is optional for wiring if you have that. In the case of the Casco there is no additional upcharge for that 230 volt wiring. Uh, Air Max I think upcharges $100 if you want that pump that way. Uh, Casco has perhaps I, uh, from what I can see the best warranty in the business right now. Three years on the compressor, 15 years on the airline and diffuser and lifetime on, uh, or I'm sorry, lifetime on the cabinet and diffusers, 15 on the airline. Finally, we'll close out with a solar option. Um, I think if all things are considered over the years, I've found that solar has just been more reliable for me than wind. If you live in an area where wind is a constant, that's one thing. Uh, windmills could be a viable solution, but here around the Midwest where we work, uh, we have had way too many days of stifling heat with no air movement at all, and that is a bad combination. We just don't want to see that. And so, you know, with the solar systems, if the sun comes up, which we always hope it will come up, but if it comes up, we're going to get operation, and that's uh, very important. And what you're looking at is the American Aeration AA1 solar uh, aerator. It is a direct drive system. It works daylight only, daylight hours only. comes in a single 300-watt panel or a dual uh, panel system, which will give you uh, better run times during cloudy days, uh, bad weather, snowfall, let's say winter days, uh, towards dawn to dusk, towards those edges of the day, it will give a little more running time and be a little beneficial. I, I typically in the north, uh, you know, north United States, I'll usually suggest dual panels to almost everybody. It's not a huge increase in cost, but it is daylight operation only. This system will aerate a half acre pond from nine to 12 feet deep or greater. It's rated around 30 foot max operational depth, so you can cover pretty much anything. As we mentioned, it has single or dual sol solar panels. Uh, quarter horsepower rocking piston pump, which is a, f a feature that I really like in this solar package. Some solar systems use uh, DC electrical pumps. Uh, to me, I've just got more experience and had better luck long term with these rocking piston designs. One, they handle depth better, no question about it. Second, they are repairable or rebuildable by the customer themselves. Uh, we've worked with rocking pistons for decades and with a few simple tools you can, you know, at some point during their life, usually three to five years out of continuous operation, you're going to see some compression start to drop and that's indicating that some seals and rubber gaskets around and on the piston itself are starting to wear down a little bit. You're just losing some compression but all of the manufacturers that make these systems include rebuild kits with these components and you just replace those uh, normally with a Phillips screwdriver and a hex wrench you open the thing up replace those put it all back together and you're good to go again for another three to five years and um, that ability to keep the longevity or keep working you know the working operation up to to optimum and then the longevity that you get out of these pumps I think is very desirable this one 
uh, includes uh, 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline, as so many of the others did, 2.8 cubic feet per minute out of the uh, pump, and as I mentioned, a 300 watt panel, single panel, you double that with the dual panels. Warranty on this system is five years across the board, uh, other than non-wearable parts, which would include the air filter and that rebuild kit, which typically you'll get three to five years out of that uh, anyway. So with that, I'll close. I really feel these are some of the best options you've got when you have a half acre pond and you're looking to aerate it. Now there are many others, but I know you can use some of this information to benefit uh, finding something that will surely do the job. So at any rate, I appreciate you joining me today. If you have questions on pond aeration or your pond specifically, please get in touch with us at American Aeration. We'll be happy to help. And I hope you have a great day wherever you are.